Hey, good morning guys and welcome back to the channel. Hopefully you can see me, I know it's a little dark outside. We're getting an early start to our day. Taylor just joined me, the first full-time camera run and gun foot soldier for Outsiders Media, which I'm really, really excited about. He's gonna be joining me today to help me capture content for my channel and for the Overland Truck Store. I can't wait to go through all of the footage that we're gonna to capture today because we're gonna to have two cameras, this one and my nice professional rig that Taylor's gonna be running. I'm stoked. When I got the Tundra yesterday, we tried to put a winch in it. We got a winch from Warren. I went to Tyler's house. We dropped the bumper, took the grill apart, all the little plasticky electronic bits, and the winch didn't fit. So I have no winch, so I'll just uh, have to do my best not to get stuck. We are almost to the Overland Truck Store. Normally we do a little breakfast here, um, but we're trying to get out and up into the hills as fast as we can. So I'm not sure if we're gonna have breakfast or snacks, but we're seeing a lot of four-wheel drive trucks on the way here. So I think this is gonna be a pretty busy event. Okay, so I'm at the Overland Truck Store and it is absolutely packed out. We thought that because this was a snow run and it's the first of the year, we didn't expect to have uh, very many people. We thought maybe 10, 15 rigs. And this is like a whole parking lot full of really awesome rigs. There's some really, really unique, cool looking trucks here. Check out this uh, Ranger that's all raptored out, super badass. That looks like a ton of fun. I love the wrap on it in dark, dark uh, flat green. So yeah, this is gonna be a really fun trip. It's gonna be busy, a lot of trucks. People are gonna be getting stuck for sure. And so, let's do it. We're gonna do a little bit of a raffle ticket drawing. Two, three, four, six. Lee, nice, you got cutting board. Two, two, six, eight. Yeah, nice, what you got? Nice, oh, tum tumbler. tumbler. Very nice, very nice. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. He's, that's a Subaru owner, right? Yeah. <laughs> he's got boxes on. He's got, he's got <laughs> boxes on boxes now. <laughs> yeah, and the crapper. <laughs> he was nervous as I am. Very. There's a lot of people. Thanks, thank you for coming. This is awesome. What do you think? What, are you uh, have you seen this many people in? No, this is crazy, man. I mean, there was probably 30 people at the first meet that we came to. I mean, when we were just meeting at Tahuya, yeah. and now there's, I mean, 100 people. There's got to be 100 people out here. Yeah. I, I mean, this this little parking lot that we're gonna meet at is gonna be insanely packed. What do you think about the size of this group? That's fucking awesome. <laughs> yes. Oh yeah. Work it. Work it. Rad to see you out here. Thanks, man. Cool, man. Have Are fun. You going out? Yeah, I'll be out there. Oh god! Armageddon! It's crazy out here. Oh! So many rigs! Ah! The first challenge of the day is getting out of the parking lot and finding the next location. We should turn these into treasure hunts instead of like guided tours. Yeah. You know, like you start here, then you have to make a waypoint, and then another waypoint. That'd make it way easier on us. It would make it a lot easier. <laughs> a little bit less of a liability probably, but oh, this is crazy. Boy, oh boy. Taylor! Ah! It's time to go! <laughs> we gotta go! Have you ever seen so many four-wheel drive vehicles in one spot? <laughs> Dude, and that's just the parking lot. Wait, I know. There's like alarms going off. <laughs> People are like yelling at each other. We made it successfully to our first rendezvous spot, which is uh, this little market here. We had a beautiful drive along the Hood Canal. Just really beautiful and scenic. We're gonna be heading up into the Olympics, trying to find some snow. It's gonna be a ton of fun. And so we wanna get everyone to kind of regroup here, get whatever they need, whether it's fuel or food or whatever, and, uh, and then go from here. So one stop and then we'll go to the trailhead. So every time we do one of these runs, I like to try to figure out how many rigs we have, and it's really difficult. We'll have to get up to the front. Last time I had to get my one wheel and go down this long line of, of trucks, and I think we had 40 something, and I think we have more now. This might be the biggest off-road, unofficial off-road group gathering, very unofficial. <laughs>
right, we're hitting the first little little bit of snow. It's a little bummer because apparently this was all snow and a lot of it's melted down, but. The back end of this truck is so much smoother than the front, which is so opposite of my Tacoma. The Tacoma has really nice suspension in the front and kind of heavy duty leaf springs in the back. So it's just weird feeling right now. This so far, this whole trip has been way more fun for me because I have Taylor's help. Uh, he can help me capture shots when I see him. I can say, oh, grab that. And I can focus on driving. I can focus on making my video. I can focus on getting the proper content and making sure that everybody stays together in these big groups. And it's just awesome, man. I'm so excited to have my business grow from here. I mean, I love firefighting, like just as much as anyone could love any job, but to be able to like do what I do for fun and make a uh, killing doing it, I just, I'm so happy, man. It's just, it's awesome. Damn ready. Used to hold myself bad, myself a sting damn bad. Gotta keep on chugging. Ran through everything in front of me. My smoke been heavy. Gotta hold it. We have decided to to ascend higher into the, into the snow, the snow-capped mountains for an epic adventure. Here we are, in the snow. I'm honestly, so I didn't air down, so I'm honestly not getting the best traction, but that's okay. All right, we should try to get up ahead, but I don't want to get stuck. Yeah, and then block everybody. <laughs> yeah, excuse me. Oh, this Tacoma's hard to get out. City, city, come on, yeah. It's been a Woo! So I'm not actually sure what the holdup is. People are getting out, but we finally hit some snow. It's real icy and, and uh, like I'm standing up on top of it right now, but it's fun. And I think it'd be a lot of fun to, oh, I'm sleeking. Yep, there we go. I think it'd be fun to uh, test the crawl control on the TRD off-road Tundra. That'd be cool. And we also got this really cool river right here, which is nice. It's beautiful out here. This is a really good experience. And I think it's an awesome experience for people who, who uh, have varying degrees of off-road experience you know if you're new to off-roading this is going to be like really exciting and maybe a little bit scary if you're a seasoned off-roader you'll be able to enjoy yourself and to be able to to mentor and instruct some of the other people you know i think it's good it's a lot of fun good times good times and i think one of the best parts about this is being able to see all of the different rigs that come out and everybody's different builds and to be able to share just sort of about your build and talk to people and meet people from the community who have the exact same interests and and uh you know, hobby. So I think it's cool. I love it. I'm having fun. Right now it's super socked in, but usually on a clear day, you can see Mount Sokomish right here, which is a, a big mountain. It's beautiful. I've climbed it before, but unfortunately today we just have too much cloud cover. Taylor's a, uh, would you say expert? Sure. Expert climber? I would say. I'm a professional I mean, climber. Yeah, that's what I mean. That's, that's kind of what I thought. You're a professional mountain climber, which is super awesome to have you part of the team because you know the ins and outs of the areas like this a lot better than I do. So when it comes to finding cool spots to go explore and get truck stuck. We're burying it. Shit! Forgot! Thank you, sir. No problem. You're here for everyone. <laughs> I say this literally, literally every trip. I'm like, man, I should have aired down. <laughs> Thank you, sir. So really, in a normal situation, I would air down. My Tacoma has some really awesome air down tools in it. Uh, but when I'm doing these runs, I'm so focused on capturing content for my company, my videos, their company. Like, it's just a lot. And so I skipped it. So. 
and the truck's just gonna have to work a little extra hard today. If we start to get stuck, then of course I'll air it down and there's plenty of people, I mean 70 rigs, so there's plenty of people to, uh, to help us air back up. This is so awesome though, man. I, if you guys are in Washington State or if you're nearby, I like highly encourage you guys to come to one of these runs, check out the Overland Truck Store on their Instagram to like stay in touch with them. Um, it'd be so cool to see you. It's a good opportunity because it's something that I do on a regular basis. So uh, every other month we run one of these. So if we stay on course, we'll probably have another one in March. We've had a bit of a holdup up here. Uh, a lot of people are turning around and back. I'm about, I don't know, three quarters of the way back to the line. Apparently, they're, uh, there's a steep hill or something up here that's gonna be causing a lot of people to get stuck. And so some people are trying to choose to turn around. Some people wanna go the other way. So, like, we wanna make sure everyone has fun. Everyone stays safe. That we don't break any rigs or leave anyone stranded. Just being patient on these runs, having fun and enjoying the scenery, which it is just gorgeous out here. It might be stuck. Taylor, what's the word? Um, well, my memory card's full. Okay, <laughs> good. One. I like that, that's good. Number two, everyone so far has had success with the hill. Um, there's some guys without front lockers trying it right now, and I think they're struggling. To get back up it? To or? get up the hill. Yeah. Oh, okay, um, that kind of was saying people went down a hill and they couldn't come out. So right up here is the base of a hill and people are struggling with it. Okay. Everyone's been able to finagle their way up it though. So these guys are trying to move this tree so that people don't get stuck Ready? there. Yeah. yeah. And there's, there's still some people that want to go up? Well, apparently whoever, whoever went to upstairs to spot, they told everybody to turn around. Oh, they did? Yeah, they told everyone. They told All everyone the whole to turn group. around. Yeah, because so, they went up there and then they were like yeah. down to 10 PSI and still like... Spinning. Yeah. yeah, I heard there's like an inch thick of ice. Yeah. So, yeah. That sucks. All right, well, I'm gonna whoa, shit, walk up there. Man, this is what we were worried about was having people have to turn around and then face into the convoy. But, uh, of course, we couldn't have expected it to be perfect. It's really, everybody's got a great attitude though. It's awesome. Whoa, somebody went down this. And over to that trail, I bet you, I bet you I know who it was. Apparently there's 40 cars from here forward. Okay. I only see 10. Yeah. So <laughs> people committed and it just, I guess, got real icy. Okay. So, so it's people. Kind of near the road. I guess so. Bummer. I really want to see some, some scenery.
So I had a ton of fun in the snow with the Overland Truck Store. I can't believe almost 80 rigs in total were with us. It was a ton of fun. Uh, the Tundra did so well. I'm really excited to continue building this truck. I'm starting to really enjoy it. I actually, I actually really like it a lot. Uh, I got with me here a Heretic Studio LED light because I'm checking out some placement options for these little LEDs. We're gonna be putting two in the bumper and two quattros here as well. And I'm also gonna be throwing in a 30 inch light bar there and a 50 inch bar in the Prinsu rack. Now, Heretic Studio makes some of the best LEDs for the price. They are right up there with Baja Designs. They're right there with Rigid as far as quality, but they have a lifetime guarantee. So if one ever breaks, they're going to replace it for free. They have really fast lead times. And what's really cool about these lights is the housing. They're milled out of solid blocks of aluminum and they just look really unique and very compact. I think that you guys would really like these lights a lot if you picked them up. And you guys can get 10% off when you buy these Heretic lights and use my code MAX10. Look forward to the upcoming video where we're gonna be doing some installs, some lighting installs on this truck. Like I said, I'm starting to really, really enjoy the Tundra. Uh, now that I'm getting used to it, I'm getting it set up exactly the way I want it. Next up is gonna be LED lights. And uh, then we're gonna be doing um, some coilovers in the front with upper control arms and getting that front suspension a little bit smoother. If you guys are interested, use the links in the description below because that helps me out a ton. As far as being a YouTuber goes, the links are where it's at. So thank you so much. Hope you have a wonderful week. Get some work done this week, but don't forget to live. Bye.